Next story proves that our team will go anywhere for the story. Mm -hmm. After many warm days, we're already starting to see more plants in bloom and more pollen. In fact, it almost feels like spring. But as you get started with your traditional gardens ready for the new season, certified meteorologist George Waldenberger visited a very different type of growing facility nearby. George, they seem to have perfected a different way to grow plants. Yeah, this is a practice that's becoming more and more popular. Sustainable growing practices. Essentially, how do I grow more with less? So Winter Garden Green Sky Growers by Valencia College blends some of these ideas into one fascinating project. Right in the middle of Winter Garden, at the top of this four-story building, within this greenhouse is a garden, a fish farm, a water filtration system, and a living lab for Valencia College students. This is aquaponics. Aquaponics, essentially the marrying of aquaculture, fish, hundreds of them, and hydroponics, growing crops without soil. The result, a sustainable growing system right in the middle of Winter Garden. We could use upwards of 80 to 90% less water than they would per crop for a field system. This system, a closed loop beginning and ending with the fish. So we have hundreds of vegetarian piranhas here. Well, technically they're tilapia, but they sure act like piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> what the fish eat, they then pass on as fish waste into the water. This fish water comes through these pipes, goes down, and first goes to this physical drum filter. Which physically spins the solid waste out of the water. Then what's left? After that, the water goes to this biological filter. Okay. And if you look at these, looks like pasta. Yeah, it really does. But it's not. This is, these are what I call condominiums for bacteria. This bacteria converts nitrogen in the fish water to a form usable as fertilizer to the bib and loose leaf lettuce above, which in turn draw these fertilizers out of the water, leaving clean, oxygenated fresh water to drain back into the fish tank. As for the fish, we give them away to our culinary program. We've given them away to the Salvation Army. Actually, at one point, we're donating to one of the local zoos. Mm. All right. To, yeah, Tom, very interesting. It's fascinating. Yeah, Green Sky Growers also serves as a classroom laboratory for Val Valencia College students. They work firsthand learning alternative sustainable growing techniques. And Tom, those classes are all full. Yeah, that's a good sign. George, nothing was wasted here. You said the lab harvests the rainwater that falls on the roof, uses it also in the process, and the fish donate as food. The crops like the lettuce all donate as well. Exactly. Some of those, some of the lettuce actually goes to local restaurants in Winter Garden. Some is donated mm. to faculty or staff at Valencia. Nothing goes to waste. This is all very sustainable, Vanessa.